this story of how I became a travel minimalist, it doesn't come unfortunately from the conscious choice, but rather from the necessity of a back pain. I switched from 45 liters of a 10 kilos backpack to this. And to be even more precise, three quarters of this little pouch is actually a musical instrument. So if you're interested to know how I walked 389 kilometers in 24 days with three kilos of luggage, this is the video you have to see and you can apply four principles to your backpacking today. And this is day number two. We in Aslali, after a little bit of uh, little problems. No, that's not the Rika. Rika is here. <laughs> and we're heading to the next place called Navagram. Yes, I walk more than 2000 kilometers a year. I'm a guide, this is my job. And yes, I use the cutting edge technology. I do have a gear, many backpacks and, and yes, I have a S1 L5 back injury. It causes me a lot of pain. And that day the body said, no. And that story starts just before we're going for Dandi March with 389 kilometers path in northern India and Gujarat just to make a little break from Camino de Santiago. So we were in the airport of Rome and we flown from and just there, before even hiking, before actually even going, I felt that something is not right. I felt this pinching thing, pinching pain just here in the back and I knew that the hiking it's not gonna be possible. And this is what I do for life. This is what, how I get my money. That was a big actually issue. And that moment, I remembered the book of Frederick Gross called The War Philosophy of Walking and the four steps of how to make your traveling much lighter, which is the book that I strongly recommend and you can find the link in the description below. So in this book of uh, Frederick Gross, you could find the four, four steps of how your backpack is to be organized or organized not. First of all, we start with useless things. The useless things that you normally have and you think they're useful, but they're rather social appearance, more of the colorful uh, visual thing that you take with you because you think you're cool. And I have few of those things anyway. So the second thing is actually useful things, which are the things that enhance your experience. Bed liner and you know this new watch that you have that indicates your GPS position, this ultra trail thing that you never lost. This is the useful thing. But is it actually necessary? Which takes us to the third point. If something is necessary, you only understand if by missing it, you experience this comfort, pain, or kind of strange feeling, which would be sleeping bag, which could be um, super rain trousers or the rain jacket, or even the walking sticks. But the thing is that the, those necessary things normally can be replaceable. Uh, find yourself a stick in the nature and use it instead of the uh, walking sticks and so on. And the fourth part, which is holy grail of all these four, which is radical, which Frederick Gross names as the elemental. The elemental is what we need just to live. That's not much. The clothes we wear, the water that we take, and the little food. And that's all. Everything else seems a bit of more abstract, mid of more, let me prepare for the thing, but do we actually need those things? If we take the elemental uh, aspect to it, there is a lot of trust involved because what will happen if the path will give you whatever you need? So then I applied this principle into my backpacking and this what actually happened. As this, let's call it the minimalist, I decided not to buy anything else apart of what I have and whatever I had was the pouch of the instrument. So I put everything to the pouch. First of all, 
I put the instrument and whatever was just in between the instrument and the cover that I fill out with all the things that I need. That is first indication here. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be well indicated. It's supposed to be pretty clear. So first the dandy bridge and then let's see. And some perros and some dogs. Why did I take an instrument? You see, when you travel, when you travel in the region that you don't know, when you don't speak the language that you speak, when you go from place to place and you want to communicate with people, having an instrument with you can be actually life saving because you can just talk. You can talk through the music, you can connect to the vibration and you can unite to this universal language of, of rhythm. So this is, decided, this is what I decided to take. And the rest, whatever fitted in between. One t-shirt for change, one little short trousers for change, one sock, one pants, one towel. And that's all. Everything fast drying material so it can be easily dried and can apart it doesn't it doesn't occupy as much space as, as the normal cotton stuff and that's pretty much the tour i've taken my flip-flops with me and and i've taken a few extra bits and pieces but the biggest problem actually i had it was about recording because as you know i record this is what i do for life so i, I cannot take my a Sony A6600 because it, it's a camera, it comes with few lenses as well. I cannot take my drone because apart, I don't know even where I'm gonna go. We didn't even know where we're gonna stay. There was some kind of big adventure of this dandy walk, which ended up amazing, amazing story. So I didn't know what to take with me and apart, the drone wouldn't fit inside of this bag. So what I decided to do, I decided to take with me this little baby. Can you see actually, this is the camera, this is the newest GoPro. And if you see it from this distance or from this distance, you can actually see how little, how small it is. And it can fit it absolutely anywhere. And we walked 389 kilometers with this. And sometimes I even felt this even too much. I think the other part of the journey is to understand that the bigger backpack you have, the more things you will put inside. So if you have a 50 liter backpack, you're gonna put 50 liters of stuff. If you have a small backpack as I had, you will make everything possible to fit stuff. You use those four steps to ask yourself what is inside of your bag. Ask yourself if these things that you have are useless, useful, necessary or essential. Make this checklist of things that you can see. Then imagine yourself with all these things walking for 24 days. And if it still feels like too much, start to clean, start to take away things and make this traveling light. Sometimes it's important just to take as little as this and understand that you can live with small only if you trust. And you know what? I trust. And the next journey I'll do, I will take even less. The weather is going crazy here. It's raining. It's a monsoon time in India because we're still in India. We're coming back to Camino de Santiago for April, May and June, organizing the trips, smaller and reduced groups of people. Please send me DM on CaminoTellers at gmail.com. And if you have any other uh, questions, just contact with the community. We're here with more than 6,000 people already. Uh, happy to help, happy to share the experience. If I see you on the Camino, I'm going to give you a big hug. But for now, I have to go because the monsoon is coming. And I think I have my clothes drying outside. <laughs> see you.